Hello guys, it's me again. We're gonna build something very useful for my CNC machine today. Uh, just a quick uh, introduction to the video. At some point when I switch to building the second component that is necessary for this build, you will notice something different. I'm not talking in the video anymore. I just record what I do and then I made a voiceover while editing. And yeah, I'm trying to improve the video, so bear with me in the process. This is only the second one. Enjoy. Here's my CNC machine. I've built it. And what is missing, other than a proper support system here, is a table. Today I'm going to show you how to build a table with clamping capabilities. Good clamping capabilities. And on the cheap. It's like I spent 25 euros. So let's get to work. First thing first, I bought two of these 15 millimeters plywood sheets it's 60 by 120 and we are gonna fit both of this here one on the side of the other uh, I already made a test fit of those and they don't fit for like three centimeters I need to measure that now so I can cut it and then they will be fitting perfectly Okay, so this is what this is what we have to cut from one of the two panels in order for them to fit. So let's go to the table saw. Okay, they fit pretty good. There's not a lot of space, which means that the cut is uh, pretty good. So, what we're going to do now before actually um, screwing them into place is we're going to drill a series of holes, a matrix of holes, 10 centimeters one another, one from another, in both directions, and from the bottom of these holes we're gonna fit some nuts I bought two packages of uh, these M6 nuts they are gonna serve us for the clamps so we can put something from the top that will screw on the nut that is being fit on the bottom so let's get to work So I made a little mistake. These plans are actually 61 by 122. And that's why I had to cut it because I remember my CNC width, my CNC table width was 120 precise. So I'm gonna use this marking bit with the hammer, a deep mark for the drill bit so it will be precise. All the holes are marked, the, the holes locations. So my strategy is I'm going to drill a hole with uh, this 10 millimeters bit and then I'm going to jam this uh, nuts inside the 10 millimeters hole. Is that time to change it. Oh, 
all the holes are drilled and the back part of the plate doesn't look nearly as as nice and clean as the the upper part but as we said i don't care i used a very aggressive bit for drilling because i, I had to be time effective i'm kind of in a rush to get this done i, I set up my uh, silicon gun with the polymax put some of it on the side of the nut like so which it works okay now the adhesive should do his uh, job and we should be fine with this one let's move on to the, to the other one and then we can do all of them so this is how basically it's gonna work after drilling all of them and putting the nuts and jamming the nuts on the back of them I could uh, screw them both on the table now we're missing one thing the clamps and we are gonna build it now with these leftovers and with this thickness I'm gonna show you how I already set my sled to cut four of them because first thing first we have to square them up so let's do these cuts first and then we have to cut to, to cut some strips like this one and a half centimeters and with that we will build our clamps let me show you how So by setting our gauge to one and a half centimeters, we leave our fence loose and we measure the inside edge of the blade must be one centimeter and a half from the fence. So my idea is very simple, I will have to use two of those with two pieces of this, one here and one here, that of course I will cut, I will be cutting flush with those, one here and one here, and then in the middle, that's where our clamping nuts will go, just gonna mark it very quickly like so and then once I cut the first one I will use the others at, at the mo I will use it as a model for the others That's the first one there you go second one up and I have material to build eight clamps let's get started Let's make it let's make the surface even by pushing them down then let's get just a normal clamp and let's wait for them to dry one is done seven to go okay they are all under pressure 
with the glue sticking up so let's get this guy let's leave this guy to rest for a while and then we'll uh, take on them later and finish our clamps okay so the glue is dry now I finished up one I still have seven one two three four five six seven to go finish it up with a chisel there we go perfect quick send okay after a quick send sending and um, you know smoothing the corners and everything we're gonna cut the little groove in here so they will block the piece the work piece better we're doing this with the again back to the set to the table saw with the, the blade set to a few millimeters like probably five or six we're gonna cut the groove here pushing the work piece this way after a quick sanding and some oil is the result they're also pretty nice with this contrast on the clear uh, and the dark wood so I grabbed an M5 threaded rod and I put it on the vise with two pieces of wood in between so we don't ruin the thread with the with the with the metal clamps of the vise and then with the Dremel I cut it eight pieces of 10 centimeter length after that we go on the miter saw because we need to cut the actual handles so we cut eight strips from uh, another of the scrap pieces I have then we quickly sand off the edges so we avoid splinters and then we we'll pick up a 4.5 millimeters drill bit so the M5 thread will be a, a little tight on it and it will work just fine now we eyeball the center of the handles and we drill a hole in all of them at this point we can start threading the rod into the handles so they will create a thread and it will be a tight fit Then we pick up some nails and the relative drill bit of the same thickness in my case it was 1.5 millimeters then we set up the drill press so we can start drilling the handles try to aim exactly at the center of the threaded rod and start drilling the wood when it becomes harder it means you get to the threaded rod and in that case you have to slow down and press a very very little at a time and in some cases also get out and get in again so when the hole in the threaded rod will be done, you will be free to drill the rest of the wood. Now put a nail on the hole and drive it in with something, a piece of wood or a hammer. cut the parts that sticks out with the pincer here's an example of how is it gonna be used when it's finished Now I've put my Dremel in the vise and with the filing little disc I'm filing out the parts of metal that will stick out from the wood so I, would, I won't scratch my hands when I use it. As a final touch I'm just giving it the same finish that I gave to the clamps themselves rubbing on it some linseed oil with my usual used sock.
Now here's the test fit of the components. That piece is not going anywhere. And here's the face of a happy guy. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I have to clarify one last thing before going. After the build, I swapped the normal M6 nuts with M5 T nuts, which are these ones, because they grip on the outer part of the hole, so they cannot go up if you tighten them too much, which is what was happening with the with normal nuts. So everything works fine, just as you saw in the video, basically. Um, thank you for watching, and see you next time.